Hey guys, it is Brandon from Crackbrain coming at you. We are uh, playing some Seven Days to Die. Um, usually I play this every Sunday with my friends going through. I know Stefan has gotten this game on his computer. We haven't done any multiplayer with him. I think he's still trying to get used to it. But I'm just going to play a nice simple single player game. Just a nice little series going through. It's just you and me. We'll talk about the world, about things that are going on. And it will be great fun. So right now, just waiting for the uh, the world to load. This is going to actually take a little bit of a while. Usually it doesn't, so I'm quite surprised. Um, hmm. But if you guys haven't played this, it's like Minecraft on steroids. Um, the world is totally destroyable or interactive, however you want to do it. Um, you have zombies that come through. you got to build up your fortress, make traps, defenses, pick up ammo, build ammo. Pretty much you can build everything, or mostly everything, or find it on stuff. Um, you have life and stamina. But it's a fun game. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit harder. It gets harder the more people you have in a game going through, but we're just going to be playing it nice and simple like. Nothing too hard. Give you something to actually watch. Um, but it is now November going through. Um, Halloween's over. Sad, sad day, we know. But we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming. So I hope you guys are going to be enjoying the holidays. So, man, this is really taking a long time to load. This is going to take the whole time to, uh, the whole video. First two minutes. First five minutes. Just loading. Loading time. The graphics are, uh, quite a bit better on the PC than on like the consoles if you guys have seen that going through they I first found this when it was like way 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 early on um, so I've seen all the advances coming through it's been quite fun so but how's everything going with you guys um, one thing to note is that we have started our Indiegogo campaign um, if you haven't seen that Go ahead and just go ahead and visit the page and see if you'd like to donate. We do have some perks uh, for certain do dollar amounts if you do donate. And if you can't donate anything, that's totally fine. We've all been there. Um, just at least please share our uh, Indiegogo because um, that's just as good as uh, donating. So we will we, we, we strive to get better equipment for better productions for you guys. Um, getting new parts for computers, some computers, um, just a bunch of different things. It's not, none of the donations are going to go towards cosplay. It's all going to be back into the company for production uses. Um, we've got some mugs that are on part of it. You've seen the, the Crack Brain mugs. We've got some keychains, which we just barely got in. I'm working on some coasters. I've been designing them and tweaking them. Um, that would be, it would be a set of three coasters. Uh, there's a t-shirt, which will be Indiegogo only version, so a special edition for some t-shirts. And there's some caricatures that are going through. There's a limited number of the caricatures, like I think eight. So the first eight people get characters caricatures drawn by... Uh... Well, let's go through then. Here we are. So... One thing I hate is this lab calf. This stupid thing, I never use it whatsoever. So, um, I like my things in a certain spot, so we'll just go from there. So, let's see, where are we? Okay, so we are on a road. There's a Spanish city there, and snow? Snow's not good, we got lumberjacks. So, just get some plant fibers going through. They have a little task at the beginning, so you can figure out the game a little bit. It's some wood. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, man, really, really, really bad. So, I started a new job a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a furniture, or not furniture, appliance and mattress store. Um, just being the warehouse supervisor. It's been quite good. This is a little bit different than most things I've done. But I have uh, pressed them quite a bit. So after the end of the two weeks, um, I got a, 
a, tw a two dollar raise, which is like hell yeah. Didn't mind that whatsoever. Okay. So we got all this stuff. Let's pick up some rocks. I'm gonna head to that abandoned building. See if we can uh, go on the top there. Where was that building? I just lost it. Oh man. Oh man. There we are. So we're just gonna be hitting getting this because we need to craft some stuff later on. Oh dear. A little bit of lag. But look at this. This is a pretty good thing. Let me craft. I'm not, I don't want to craft the bedroll quite yet. Not yet. Not yet whatsoever. Oh man. So, one of the things is like when you're at a new job, people are trying to get to know you a little bit better. And there's some things I just keep to myself quite a bit. Oh good, there's is that water over there? Um, a lot of things pertaining to like the circumstances around my daughter um, and how like that my relationship ended with my ex Amber. Um, it's not something I really talk about. Like my niece is trying to ask questions and I'm just like I'm not talking to you about it. It's a pretty touchy subject. But like people have just been nonstop asking me about it and it's like, ugh, it's been driving me crazy all week. Oop, I'm out of stamina. Oop, there's a zombie. I'm out of stamina, too. Let's let that charge back up, and then we'll go fight it. Fight it with my bare hands. I'm not going to do much damage. Oop, I missed. Come on. Oh. I'm on the stairs. That's not going to work. We're not stairs. The hill. Harder. Oh, and there's a house that was right by me. Oh, of course, when I look away. I'm stuck. Beat him while he's down. Alright, run away, run away. Okay, there's a towner there. Oh, man. I just... Why did I want to go to this city? It's a bad idea to go to the city first. Alright. Screw it, I'm going to that thing. We gotta get there quickly. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Nothing in that bloody trash. Great. So, but yeah, one of the things is, you know, I was with a girl. Um, oh, of course, you're knocked down. And I was just head over heels with her. Just completely in love. And, uh, we ended up getting pregnant. And it was, uh, it was quite a surprise. Like, you've had pregnancy scares in the past going through. But this was quite a bit different. Um, when she told me, I was ecstatic. I was so happy. Um, you know, like, I came to pick her up to go drop her off at work. And she just, like, looked like she was had gone crazy well she is crazy but um, for the most part like like she didn't look like she had slept and I was like what's the matter some something to keep you up and she's like yeah your kid did I was like Wait, what um, totally totally ecstatic about it um, so then kind of just went from there and it was kind of fun going through figuring out Oh great, I just locked the cup oh, I'll break this down. Oh, Let's see if that will Nope, that's not gonna go faster. Oh, it's got a forge in here. This is a perfect spot. Great. Um go through and she ended up leaving. She took off back to Virginia and married her Oh my stamina is down. Uh married an ex boyfriend. Which, absolutely heartbreaking, you know, she left me, um, with my kid, and went and married some ex-boyfriend, and she later on had, uh, left him for some state trooper who she's with now and has had a second child with, um, they haven't gotten married yet, they live together, and pretty much my child support goes to, like, their boats and their pools and stuff like that so 
yeah, it's, it's usually not something I talk about too much, but I feel like, um, I gotta at least share something today. It's stuff that's been on my mind. Sometimes you just gotta talk, which is, you know, all right. Um, I try not to keep drama in my life. It's mostly lately it's just like, I gotta be more positive. I gotta be more happy with life. I gotta stop caring so much about everything. Just, just go through life. Um, that's kind of how I've done. I just try not to put any drama in my life. Like all the crack brain friends, I don't bring up anything. Um, I just want to have fun. You guys are my friends. Love you guys. So, man, this is taking seriously. I gotta get a tool going. Screw it. I'm making the freaking axe. Probably by the time this is done, it's gonna be built or dead. One thing to know is that they are gonna come through this door. It's gonna be bad. Alright, one more. And of course, oh great, there's a big fat one right here. Crap. Bad thing is, those fat ones are really harder to kill. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Why does this have to be my starting house? And, oh great. Wow, this is a horrible, horrible start. I already broke. Oh my gosh. I already broke my leg. Oh my gosh. Oh, you broke your leg. Okay. Zombie. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! No! Daddy! No! Oh, we're the business dude! I'm dead. I'll crap. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We're gonna like, call that end of the part. We're gonna get situated, and then we'll be back. So, you know what, guys? Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time.